Hmm? Oh. Welcome, my name is Matt Tuna Turner and I recently just purchased a new phone off the internet. Thank you to the kind user on eBay who sold this to me. Um, a little bit of a backstory. Last year, my two, me too, uh, they released a version of their M8 phone modeled after Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. I happen to love Sailor Moon, so I figured I would try and purchase the phone. They did a very limited run, very limited run, and it was only available in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and China. When I came out to Hong Kong over Christmas, they were all sold out. I'm no longer in Hong Kong, however, I'm still in Asia, and I was able to purchase one off eBay. Now I figured I'd do an unboxing video for you guys, and here we are. So, why don't I stop jabbering, and why don't we get into it? So excited. Peanuts. 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 We're getting closer. Oh. Oh. So far so good. Can't wait to get into this. Um, the packaging is exactly as advertised so so far this user has not led me astray. This seems to be the real deal. Pretty excited. Do this very carefully. Saki. Not a whole lot on the back. Oh, I love the pink. My two M8. It's got a magnet, obviously. Let's get rid of these scissors. Oh, look at that. There's the phone. as you can see, 
folds out. Nice display case here. We have Sailor Moon branding. Let's see what's in this book. Wish this phone stopped moving. What do we have here? This looks like a um, warranty, oh, user guide, but um, not in English. Oh, here we go, warranty. <gasps> oh, 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 what's this? Oh, collector's certificate. Ah, oh, so cool. I don't know what this is. I'll look at that later. Nice. Collector's certificate. And it's not Sailor Moon Crystal, it's the original Sailor Moon. Okay, what's this? Uh, this is for the SIM card, obviously. I don't know if this is just, this is just a cloth. Keep it clean. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got Luna embossed on it. So much detail went into this. Let's put this back. I'm actually shaking. A part of it's nerves, but most of it's anticipation and excitement. Okay. Let's put this warranty information back. Nice and neat. Look at that camera on the back. You can see the you can see the Sailor Moon art on the back. We'll get into this in just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see what's under this box. Let's put you here. It mustn't break. How do I get into this? Let's do this. Ooh! Fun stuff. What's this? We have, this looks like a case. It was on the back of the phone, maybe. Screen protector, screen protector. A second screen protector. Uh, and a phone case. It comes with a case. And a phone case with her pendant. It's got her pendant on it. Oh, that's adorable. Let's just put this back in here. We'll put it on the phone in a minute. Let's put this here. Green protectors. We'll put this aside for a minute. This looks Sailor Moon Remote. Yes. This is for remote photography. And there it is. A remote with a battery. Perfect. Pink, of course, for Sailor Moon. Let's see if they put any other little details on here. Nope. Just pink and gold. And a battery. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use the remote. I'm sure it'll come in handy, but uh, for now, not really all that important. Now this is a self spiral heart moon rod selfie stick. This is modeled after her spiral heart moon rod. Just the the attention to detail with with all of this. I know they also make a red one. They've just recently released a red Sailor Moon phone. However, I really wanted the pink one. Oh my god. Look at this. 
keep in mind this is just a selfie stick. Uh, uh, it's got really comfortable rubber hand grip. Uh, hard plastic. It looks like fingerprints central. We have your cord for your phone. But yes, this is the selfie stick. How does it extend? Oh, just like so. It actually feels really good in your hand. There's the button. Looks like you can lock it. No, that's just to turn it. Oh my god. damage it. Wow. It's starting to feel like Usagi. And then, what else do we have in here? This looks like a phone charger and a plug. Yep. USB-C, USB-C and a plug to go with it. Mm -hmm. Typical, let's see, is this going to work where I am? It should, considering I'm in Asia and it's Asian. 100 to 240, perfect. It's got um, Western style plugs, which I find kind of funny. Considering I don't think they actually use that style in China. I don't know. I haven't spent a whole lot of time there. Alrighty, now let's take the plastic wrap off this phone. Get a better look at it. How do I do this elegantly? Okay. No. Don't damage the screen, okay. Alright, it's plastic here. Let's take this off somehow without damaging on the back. Oh, look at that. It's so shiny. Ergonomic. It's actually not a very heavy phone at all. Let's take this stuff off the front now. How do I do this? There's a whole bunch of Chinese instructions on here. I'm sure to tell you what the buttons are. I am learning Chinese, however, I can't read it yet. But there's the phone. Pretty in pink. And gold. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Let's put the case on it. Let's get the case on this real quick. Where'd I put it? Yeah, it's right here. Put it down for just a second. Need to protect need to protect my investment here. Oh. It's like a kind of a rubbery plastic. I figured it'd be a hard shell. Which it kinda of sorta of is, but not really. Okay, let's stick you in here. All right. And there it is. Oh, it's, and it's all glittery. Look at that. The Sailor Moon on Luna. Hee hee hee. Look at us, side by side. Sailor Moon and Luna. That's so cool. Ah, wow. Should I turn this thing on? I don't know how to turn it on. Let's turn this on. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's... Maybe this button here. It's still pretty light. Let's see what this does. That's not the power button. This one's the power button, maybe. 
This one looks like a volume rocker. While this, while we try to find the uh, power button, it's possible it's dead. Um, so then I won't actually be able to boot it up. I might have to charge it for a bit before I turn it on. But it does run on Android. This is not an iOS device. Even though it kind of looks like an iOS device because it's got this button here on the bottom, it is not. Definitely not an iOS device. Look, it's got dual flash and a massive lens on the back. And a decent camera on the front. I don't know what that is in the corner. It looks like maybe facial recognition. Pretty sure this is a volume rocker. Uh, and then I don't know what these two buttons do. It's got a single button here, which is probably the home button. On the bottom is your headphone jack, three quarter inch, and USB charging, as well as a microphone. This is, I assume, a speaker. But yeah, so there you have it. The unboxing of the My2 M8 Sailor Moon phone. And here it is, side by side with the Moon Heart Rod. Alright, well, I'm going to put this on the charger because um, it would appear it's dead. I can't turn it on, so I'm going to assume that it is just that the battery is dead and not a broken phone. If so, bad review on eBay. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and I will do a review in the future for this phone. Um, but first, I need to play with it a little bit, and that begins with being able to turn it on. So, goodbye for now. My name was Matt Tuna Turner, and like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'll have many more videos on this channel for you in the future. If you like manga, or video games, or comic books, this is the place to be. So, I'll see you later.